it's kind of cool to include that type of stuff in the in the tournament to get people ready for the real world. Look at Crispy Co with this this profile. I was not expecting him to choose that geometry for this profile. He's just going to include it all in this one single extrusion: the the rib, the fillet, and the circular boss all in one. Very very interesting approach. I like it. I can get on board with it. Let's get this model ready. Let's learn a little bit more about our runners. Eric actually wrote the feature script for the Too Tall Toby part mass, which is used by many of the on-shape runners. If you're out there and you're an on-shape runner and you've used the Too Tall Toby part mass script, put a one in the chat. Let us know. And Crispy Co. defeated Eric's cousin Chadwick in the Elite Eight. Yes, we knew that already, but now we know it again. Wow, wow, wow. Man, that was a good, that was a really good battle. That was fun to watch. Okay. Well, one good turn deserves another. This. Oh, Jamie McDonald has used your feature script. Nice. Eric, you're famous. All right. This CAD battle between Onshape and SolidWorks Canada versus Australia to determine who advances to the, the finals begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in x.xx pounds? The tolerance is plus or minus 0 0.01 pounds. It's a pounds model. This is a... This is almost automatic grounds to bump it up a tier level because nobody likes working in inches and pounds. Here we go. Both of our runners have grabbed the screen capture. They're both trying to get into their first sketch. Here we go. Crispy Co. Looks like he is taking an approach where he is looking at this thing. From the front. And it looks like Airwick is taking a similar approach. Beginning a new sketch on the front plane. Ricardo Jean says no pounds. <laughs> wow, Jern. Too soon. Man, that's cold. <laughs> Jern, of course, referencing a, a match that Ricardo Jean was in when he unfortunately modeled a, an inch part in millimeters. We've all been there. We've all been there, but we don't all bring it up while the wound is still fresh. <laughs> all right, Crispy Co. on the right, following a <laughs> following best practice getting his sketches fully defined very important got to fully define every time i actually wrote a song about that a few years back it got 50 million downloads on spotify no no 500 million had the zero in the wrong spot this is another one of these tricky models the way the drawing is there's a dimension in the drawing that's uh, kind of derived from a weird spot and I think our runners are gonna, are gonna struggle with it a little Ivan I found it on LimeWire yo man let's go old school I like it I was like what was LimeWire and Kazaa were they like the same just different iterations of the same program Yeah, that's old, old school. I like it. All right, here we go. Crispy Co. coming in with his second sketch. Airwick drawing first blood already has two extrusions in the tree. Three extrusions in the tree. Airwick is really making short work of this part. Bob Phelps, is there a reason you don't have sheet metal uh, model challenges? It's just, there's there's some things that kind of differentiate the 
mid-year tournaments from the world championship the world championship will have sheet metal challenges uh but the the spring open there's no sheet metal challenges we just decided when we opened the qualification registration we just we just decided to announce we're not gonna have any sheet metal challenges so you know that way if there's people who maybe are, are pretty strong in in modeling but don't really have that much sheet metal experience um they're they're still able to participate yep so that's the only reason just to make it a little more little bit more inclusive as they say <laughs> I like this approach that uh crispy co is taking on this model that that front nose I know you guys watching might think that that front nose is pretty easy to create but there's there's a little bit of trickery in that yep no problem Bob Ricardo Jean says thank you too yeah no problem Ricardo <laughs> Sheet metal is good. I mean, I like sheet metal. I, I do a lot of sheet metal. Did a lot of sheet metal in my career. It's fun, you know. It's cool in the tournament because you you, you can uh, you can really challenge people with stuff that they would they would get into in the real world. Like when a customer defines the outer dimensions across you know two uh, perpendicular bends that are going in opposite directions, and like you have to get kind of tricky with your your uh, dimensioning so it's kind of cool to include that type of stuff in the in the tournament to get people ready for the real world look at crispy co with this this profile i was not expecting him to choose that geometry for this profile he's just going to include it all in this one single extrusion the the rib the fillet and the circular boss all in one very very interesting approach i like it i can get on board with it Oh, but it looks like it's like maybe it's giving him a hard time. And Airwick once again looked like maybe he was falling behind, and then you you know you look away from his screen for a second, and you look back, and he's almost done. <laughs> wow, it's awesome. Love seeing it. I love seeing the ability for on shape to just. Take all that hard work that he did for the layout, you know, which is good work. It's it's important. It, it lets you really like work with the customer and kind of brainstorm the ideas. He takes all that hard work and then just kind of brings it all together. Very, very nice. And here we go. Once again, these guys are neck and neck. Yeah, uh, Stu3D in the chat recognizing these guys are neck and neck. This is going to come down to one or two final features. Who's going to get those final features? Who's going to calculate the mass? And who is going to move on to the finals? And Erwick comes in with an answer. 7.13 pounds. And that is correct. Wow. Erwick, well done. Very, very nice. And congratulations. And Crispy Co., a well-fought battle. Love seeing it go to three matches. This is what we like to see in the semifinals, in the finals. Love seeing it go into three matches here. Wow, wow, wow. Congratulations, you guys. And another nail biter. Yes, indeed. FT recognizes another nail biter. Wow, man, that was awesome. Congratulations to Crispy Co. and to Dom for locking up their prizes for third and fourth. And now. For the first time ever, we're going to see an all on shape final. Our on shape runner champion from the upper left bracket, Imants, squaring off against our on shape runner champion from the right bracket, Airwick. This is going to be awesome, guys. I am very, very much looking forward to this. This is going to be great. I'm going to take a few minutes and I'm going to um, set up the uh uh, set up the the information here for this final matchup because uh, I, I had no idea who was going to be in it. So uh, congratulations. We're going to take a few minutes if anybody needs to get up, take a bio break, anything like that. I'll throw a timer up on the screen in a couple of minutes. Um, I got some videos I'm going to show. I'm going to play also uh, some cool stuff about on shape.